General Science Terms you'll need to understand Atom Matter Elements Metals and nonmetals Chemical bonds and reactions Acids, bases, and pH Work, energy, and power Velocity and acceleration Mass and fluids Convection, conduction, and radiation Frequency, amplitude, and wavelength Magnetism Organism Cell Photosynthesis DNA and chromosomes Community and population Ecosystem and biome Food chain Producers and consumers Crust, mantle, and core Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rock Atmosphere and fronts Solar system, orbit, and eclipse Concepts and techniques you'll need to master States of matter Thermal energy transfer Doppler effect Classifying organisms Identifying the purpose of human body systems Identifying the function of parts of a cell Understanding plant and animal cells Identifying biomes Cloud formation Identifying Earth's layers Identifying the planets in the solar system When you sit down to take the ASFOB, the General Science GS, module is the first hurdle that you need to clear. It covers the entire range of physical and natural science, with 25 questions in about 11 minutes. Taking the General Science module first is a good way to get into the exam mindset. This section is important to you if your goal is a career in a science field, such as medical corpsman, meteorologist, or other scientific field specialist. If your goals lie elsewhere, do the best you can hear and get in a rhythm of thinking and answering questions before the verbal and mathematics modules. Scientific Method, Observation and Measurement All modern scientific fields share certain characteristics. The scientific method is the systematic manner scientists use to examine and explain the phenomena they observe. The scientific method follows this path. 1. Making observations of natural phenomena. 2. Taking measurements. 3. Formulating hypotheses, educated guesses that may be tested. 4. Conducting repeatable experiments to determine the validity of the hypothesis. Hypotheses that stand up to experimentation are regarded as scientific law. Theories combine together groups of hypotheses and form an analytic structure that explains a set of empirical observations and makes assertions about the reasons and causes for these observations. Units of measurement In addition to having a standard observation methodology, you can use defined standard units of measurement called the International System of Measurement, or SI, to simplify communication and allow comparisons. However, you should be aware that the SI scales are based on the metric system. In the United States, U.S. customary units are most often used. Table 1.1 illustrates some of the more common SI base units. Table 1.1 SI base units quantity SI unit U.S. unit length Meter, M Foot, Ft Mass Kilogram, Kg Pound, Lb Time Second, S Second, S Electric current Ampere, A Ampere, A Temperature Kelvin, K Fahrenheit, F. Amount of a substance. Mole, mole. Mole, mole. You're no doubt already familiar with some of the base units listed in Table 1.1 and their multiples, such as centimeters or kilograms. Table 1.2 outlines some of the more common unit prefixes used in the SI system. Table 1.2 SI unit prefixes multiple. Prefix. Symbol 106 Mega 
M103 Kilo K101 Desi D102 Centi C106 Micro M109 Nano N The Physical Sciences The physical sciences, which include physics and chemistry, attempt to measure and explain the physical world in which we live. The ASFOB is loaded with questions about the physical sciences. Exam Alert Tables 1.1 and 1.2 contain the basic SI units of measurement and the metric system's prefixes. If you are already familiar with these, you can skip right on by. If not, take a moment to familiarize yourself with this material. You will not likely see test questions strictly on this material, however, questions will contain the terms, and the more comfortable you are with them, the better. Chemistry Chemistry is the science of matter. Chemists study matter in all its forms and pay particular attention to the changes it undergoes. The ASFOB contains a number of chemistry questions on topics such as the different states of matter, the structure of the atom, chemical elements, bonding, reactions, and solutions. You will review each of those topics next. Matter and Atomic Structure Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. It exists in the universe primarily in four states, also called phases, listed in order of increasing density. Plasma, a high-energy, electrically charged mix of ions and electrons, usually in the form of a gas. Gas, has definite mass but variable volume and shape. Liquid, has definite mass and volume but variable shape. Solid, has definite mass, volume, and shape. All matter is made up of atoms, which comprise subatomic particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons, as illustrated in Figure 1.1. The nucleus of an atom is a cluster of neutrons and protons. Electron cloud Electron in the third shell Nucleus, location of protons and neutrons Figure 1.1 The atom and its subatomic particles Protons, located in the nucleus and have a positive charge Neutrons, located in the nucleus and have a neutral charge Electrons have a negative charge and are located in shells, called valences, that orbit the nucleus. Normally, an atom has an equal number of protons and electrons, so the atom, as a whole, is perfectly balanced. Because the electrons are negative and the protons are positive, and because opposite charges attract, this attraction holds the atom together. The number of electrons in the outer valence determines how well that atom will bond with other atoms.